Hello. <clears throat> I can actually say I've written the article for Apple on hard drives. It's amazing. Um, <clears throat> I own more hard drives than God. I want to save you money and save you hassle and time, and I want to make a really quick recommendation since I got done making an issuance on uh, protecting your data. And uh, I'm going to also make some recommendations, and the links will be below on the best hard drives. Uh, for you to purchase. Um, someone noticed that I actually had a Lacey hard drive underneath here, but just because it's there doesn't mean I'd recommend it. Um, Lacey, by the way, does not make hard drives. There's really only four now hard drive manufacturers on Earth. And there's a Seagate drive in this uh, orange rubber bumper to hard drive. A lot of the stuff that is marked something, um, Buffalo, uh, NAS, and uh, um, uh, lots of different things like Lacey. They don't actually make the equipment that's inside. Um, hard drive recommendations. So, uh, the thing is, go naked. And by naked, I mean you're eliminating out uh, the Satterbridge controller board failure that exists on... This, ever since I made that the article last year and uh, just again recently, people are like, oh my god, you saved my bacon. I'm able to recover all that data. I had no idea what a Satterbridge uh, was. You're able to eliminate out that. Now, uh, I've got tons of these, and they're also very compact. Now, uh, this one is a, a 1 terabyte, but you can actually get them in this size at 10.5 millimeters at 1.5 terabytes uh, with three platters internally. You can hold uh, two, two and a half inch hard drives in a little plastic case like this. You can get these little cases for like $3 a piece off of eBay. So they're very, very uh, compact, and uh, they're perfect uh, for making multiple. Uh, backups, but also redundancies. But no matter how good the hard drive is, <clears throat> the best in the world, and here's the best in the world right here, is the Western Digital Black. Generally speaking, Western Digital sucks. They recently acquired uh, Hitachi. Well, not recently. It's been a couple of years now. Um, but the Western Digital Green Drives, Red Drives, all these consumer-grade uh, hard drives, not good. Don't buy them. This one is a black. It's a server-grade hard drive. What you should need to buy, and this is a USB, it's made by Anchor, it looks exactly like this, and I'll post the link below. It's $40 dock, and in the back has power supply, which is in the other room, and a USB cable, USB 3 cable. What you do is this will also accommodate a 3.5 inch hard drive, as well as a 2.5. What you need to do is uh, plug in your 2.5 inch hard drive. You can clone, make uh, bootable clones of your systems, which is what every professional does, but also make multiple redundancies. You need to have also disconnected drives, stuff that's always connected to your computer, like this orange rubber bumper drive over here. Can't trust stuff like that. It's connected to the computer, it's an issue. But every hard drive, no matter how expensive it is or how good it is, is a is you know, it is just its mission in life is to stab you in the back. <coughs> the best hard drives in the world, they undergo ferromagnetic depolarization. I could take the best hard drive money could buy here, Western Digital Black. Western Digital Black, write the data to it. Stick it in the safe, and uh, one would ignorantly think, well, you know, it's working fine. I stored it in a uh, humidity-controlled uh, spot in the safe, so my data is safe. No, it's not. It's going to undergo ferromagnetic depolarization. You also need to know how to touch these. You should never grab these drives like this, only like this. The uh, controller board back here is uh, susceptible to a uh, electrostatic shock. And then you're going to have an issue with a fried uh, controller board. Also, while this is the maximum, I would ever recommend it's a 3 terabyte drive uh, by Western Digital. But it doesn't matter if it's Western Digital or anybody. Some of these uh, 4 terabyte or 5 terabyte or 6 terabyte drives, they have serious issues. And the serious issue is the drives are always spinning down and they're always spinning back up. And what that does, it creates an issue with the torque. Because the more uh, terabytes there are in the drive, the more platters. Some of them are upwards of six terabytes. They've even reduced the friction with um, with the vacuum sealed hard drives from Seagate and uh, some others, and then they're pumped in with helium to reduce the friction. Still an issue with torque. What happens is that the uh, drive motor, which spins up the drive, and and over the lifetime of a drive, a drive is spinning up and down, up and down all the damn time. It's like wear on your brakes. And uh, I don't know if you know this or not. Really, really, really heavy vehicles like bulldozers and other super huge, uh, uh, you know, four wheel, five wheel, whatever vehicles, they have issues with brakes, like semi tractor trucks. They're always burning through the brakes, and it's the same thing. There's so many platters in the drives that are four terabyte upwards that the drive motors burn out. That is why I would never recommend purchasing a drive larger than three terabytes. It doesn't matter how good it's made, you just don't do it. 
Um, so a, a two terabyte or a three terabyte Western Digital Black is a server grade hard drive. Uh, the other two to recommend would be the Shiba and uh, the Hitachi Travel Star. Hitachi Travel Star. Um, they do have, empirically so, the highest reliability. Every hard drive is going to stab you in the back. So you can't trust any of them. But there are better hard drives. These are the best. But really, ultimately, right now, we're looking at four hard drive manufacturers on Earth. So, go naked. You eliminate out the, uh, the uh, SATA bridge issue. And also, you've got a very, very tiny little uh, hard drive. Remember, you need to only handle them like this. Never want to touch them right here. Ever. Not only due to compression on the hard drive platter and, uh, and uh, the read head, um, but also from electrostatic shock uh, from the controller board. But you can get these little cases like this to store your hard drives, uh, your naked hard drives in. These are uh, right now at 64 bucks a piece from Hitachi, and this is the Toshiba. Oh yeah, they, well, I'll uh, send you the link below where you can grab these on eBay. Uh, you can buy, like, uh, you can save yourself not a lot of money. If you buy one versus like 10 of them, you only save yourself like maybe 5 or $10 per drive. So ultimately you're going to pay per terabyte on the really compact two and a half inches about $60, $65, depending on who you get, him, get them from. Uh, like this Western Digital 3 terabyte, I think it's like $150, the price might have come down. And a hard drive dock, incredibly useful. This professional tool that every pro has for uh, copying data, making system clones, uh, redundancies, and archives. And this is $40. I'll uh, post the link below. And, uh, you know, keep things simple. Simplicity is divinity. Um, all the stuff that's actually in here, specifically the uh, hard drive, uh, the Setterbridge uh, controller board, which exists between the hard drive and the USB cable, is the failure point. That is where I pulled a lot of people's uh, bacon out of the frying pan. Uh, bacon out of the fire, isn't it? Yeah. Um, because they thought their drive was dead. Literally, Countless tens of thousands of drives are thrown away every year in the landfill because they think the drive is dead. Let me unplug this. They think the drive is dead when in fact the drive is perfectly fine. And people say, I took your advice, I saved all my data, you know, thank you so much. Inside this and every uh, external USB hard drive, this one's actually uh, Thunderbolt and USB, there's a little controller board right here, a SATA bridge. Not a controller board, excuse me, but a SATA bridge which bridges data and uh, power control um, between uh, the hard drive uh, and the computer. And that is what fails. Hard drives obviously can and do fail, obviously so. Controller boards can and do fail. See, here's the other serious issue, uh, now that I think about it, because I'm always thinking of a thousand things at once. When you buy, here's the secret. When you buy multiple hard drives, see I've got several of the same hard drive here, if you ever have a controller board failure, which is this green board right back here, which can and does happen, but it's not that rare anymore, you can literally unscrew it and swap it out with another one, retrieve the data off of it, and then uh, once you've done that, toss the drive. See, when you have multiples of the exact same thing, as long as your data is safe on the platters, you only have a, you could have a hard drive controller board crash, then you could do this blindfolded almost, replacing the controller board on the back here. Your main points of failure are the SATA bridge, obviously so, but on a naked hard drive it's a controller board. And the other thing that also fails, as I mentioned, is the motor. That doesn't happen as much anymore except on the huge drives like this. But if that's an issue too, all you have to do is take this drive apart, replace out the platter. It's not that hard, it really is not. Inside of every hard drive there is not much there. There, there isn't. A hard drive is really, really simple inside. And you can actually replace that and retrieve the data off of it. That way you don't have to pay a bunch of money to somebody. If you have true um, hardware failure, because if you actually take this drive and you, uh, you spend a fortune to somebody to retrieve the data, that's all they're going to do. They're going to take an identical hard drive, replace the controller board, and then find out what the part is mis uh, defective and uh, swap it out. You could do the same thing yourself. But doing that is much easier if you have multiple copies of the exact same hard drive, because then all you're doing is swapping parts. So, anyway, keep it simple. This will save you a lot of time and a lot of money, too, really. So, go naked. Go naked. It's the best way to go. <clears throat> Except in my case, right? Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.